today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study his word. And like always, we're going to be explaining another often confusing question. So I hope you've got a pen, a paper, and your Bible. And let's get started. How should a Christian view long-distance relationships? Long-distance relationships. Long-distance relationships can be difficult But they also have the potential to strengthen the bond between the parties if each is committed to the relationship. Access to the internet makes uh, long-distance relationships much easier than they used to be. We now have the option of utilizing uh, WhatsApp, FaceTime, Skype, and uh, a host of other real-time apps that allow us to see and hear each other as though we were in the same room. The internet has also opened the doorway to meeting people from distant places, and some of those meetings result in long-distance relationships. There are both positive and negative aspects of long-distance relationships, and today we are going to just explore but a few Christians understand the complexity and the frustrations of long-distance relationships better than most people because, in a sense, we are in a long-distance relationship with Jesus. Although His Spirit is always with us, we still long to see Him face to face. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 13 verse 12, For now we see through a glass darkly but then face to face now I know in part but then I shall know even also as I'm known and Paul expressed the heart's desire of every true follower of Christ when he wrote for me to live is Christ and to die is gain and if I'm to go on living in the body this will mean fruitful labor for me Yet what shall I choose? I do not know. I am torn between two. I desire to depart and be with Christ, which is uh, far much better, but it is more necessary for you that I remain in the body. Philippians 1, 21-24 And Christians should exercise caution in entertaining or entering in a long distance relationship with a stranger. Jesus instructed his followers to be wise as serpents and innocent as doves as we navigate this deceitful world. Matthew 10 16. And while many people have found true love through dating sites and chat rooms, many others have been entangled in nightmares. Caution reminds us that someone can type anything on the internet knowing there is no way the statements can be validated. Despite how charming a person seems to be online, we don't actually know him or her in person. Even between two friends, well known to each other, a long-distance romance carries risks. There is a potential for each of or both of them to find someone else nearby. The old adage is often true. And I quote, absence makes the heart grow fonder for somebody else. End of quote. Human beings crave intimacy. And if long distance relationship is not meeting that need, the temptation to end it for another romance is always present. Affairs are commonplace in long distance marriages due to this intimacy deficit. For that reason, married Christians who cannot be physically present with their spouses need to guard their hearts and make no provision for the flesh and its last. Romans 13, 14. And we make provision for the flesh when we fan the flame of unmet desires and place ourselves in situations where those desires cannot be met except through sin. 
Another drawback to a long-distance relationship is that without proximity, we cannot see behavior in various settings. He may be wonderful on uh, WhatsApp or FaceTime or Skype or whatever it is, but how does he treat the waitress at the restaurant? How does she respond when angry? What makes her angry? How does he interact with his family members? Some important aspects of relationship simply cannot be known without spending time in someone's presence. On a positive note, a long-distance relationship offers the opportunity to focus on a heart-to-heart communication without the distractions of everyday life. Military couples experience this when one of them is deployed. And although the separation is painful, they can cherish the times they get to spend together. They don't take each other for granted or get bored of each other's company. They can develop new ways to create spiritual and emotional intimacy while derived of physical closeness. And for the unmarried couples, a long-distance relationship only uh, I may say also helps God against uh, sexual temptation by minimizing the opportunities for it. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians 6.18 flee fornication. Every sin that man does is without the body. But he that committed fornication sins against his own body. Christians should evaluate long distance relationships as they would any other relationship. And if the relationship is not centered on a commitment to Christ, it is not a good relationship. If it does not create a desire in each person to live a more holy, dedicated life, it is not a good relationship. If the participants do not encourage one another to love and do good deeds, it is not a good relationship. The Bible told us, Hebrews 10.24, And let us consider one another to provoke and to love and to good works. However, brethren, if both parties are committed to one another and to the Lord, they can view their season of separation as a training ground for what God wants to do in each of their lives. James 1 verse 4 uh, verse 2 to 4 it says my brethren count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience but let patience have a perfect work that you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing and that's the end of our today's Bible study lesson hope it was a blessing to you hope you've learned something And remember, you can always download this podcast to listen later offline or to share to your friends and family. And please don't forget to favorite our podcast and uh, subscribe to our channel that is Keith Mwoki so that you can always be notified whenever we post another Bible question. And if you'd like to get saved or you need a step-by-step order of salvation, how to be saved, so that you can well preach to a friend or family, or maybe you feel led to support our ministry, please visit our website, keithmuoki.com. Otherwise, I hope to see you in the next one.